The effort to acknowledge the true purpose and actual age of the Giza Plateau is gathering momentum. The evidence is stacking up not only for the true age to be revealed, but also for the second sphinx at the plateau to be excavated. Wait till you hear this. There is an up and coming book written by two historians by the names of Gary Cannon and Malcolm Hutton. Have you heard about this? These two guys state that the Great Sphinx must have been carved from natural rock in this region long before any sand was even present here. This means the entire area would have to have been fertile. We are talking upward of over 12,000 years before the area became engulfed in sand. This puts it well beyond the timeline of the ancient Egyptians. It also falls in line with the last cataclysm of 12,000 years ago and even neatly places the astronomical clock in perfect alignment with the cycle related to the constellation of the Zodiac. The pyramids at Giza were present here during the last ice age. They were built to last as a message from a completely lost civilization that spanned the globe. They possibly left the earth to avoid the cataclysmic event and abandoned the earth, but not before they sealed up the important structures throughout the earth. The researchers claim that the center of the lost civilization may have been the city of Atlantis, which was completely consumed by the Great Flood. Perhaps this is correct and there are still significant answers to be found in the hardest to reach parts of our world. Antarctica, perhaps, may have answers frozen stiff in the permafrost, maybe. So it would seem that Egypt could be part of the Atlantis Empire. Gary Cannon is quoted as saying, I have done some research and there is a direct line from the pyramids to a submerged continent with a mountain in the sea and on the mountain of the sea. There are two pinnacles that resemble the pyramid. It may be Atlantis. When Atlantis sank, they went to another place, probably Egypt, and they had the technology to build those pyramids. There is no one else who could have done it. They did not have the technology. We really don't know who this lost civilization was, but the idea that they left the planet to avoid perishing in the cataclysm would make more sense than them simply accepting their fate. They had the tools and the technology to build structures that cannot be replicated today, so we suggest they still exist somewhere in the universe. Isn't it comforting to believe that we are the descendants of a race of beings that were more advanced than we are today, over 12,000 years ago? What would they think of us on the Earth today, you have to wonder? It is impossible for the three largest pyramids that have two and a half million blocks in them, and some blocks are weighing up to 250 tons each, to have been built by the Egyptians. So they had to have been made by a civilization that was more advanced than we are today. That's logic, right? Egyptologists greet the evidence with sheer ignorance. They refuse to believe the truth. The evidence is staring right at them in the face yet they still spout their lies as the truth that they have been falsely educated to believe. Some of them must be aware of this massive falsity that leads us to think that this is a conspiracy on an unbelievable scale. There must be more at stake than telling human beings today that our history is far older and more magnificent than they could ever have thought possible. Whoever built the pyramids, whatever the truth may be, the dynastic Egyptians are not responsible for the massive, elaborate constructions we see at Giza today. The evidence is stacking up, and the more people who are presented with this evidence, the more belief gathers momentum over the misdirection we have been on for millennia. It is as if the pyramids were found 5,000 years ago. A dynasty was started that lasted a few thousand years forgotten about, rediscovered in modern times, and we simply made up stories about the dynastic people of Egypt without any evidence that they had anything to do with the Great Pyramids. They still try to explain away these ideas as truth today, but guess what? 
They have never once replicated any ancient structure on this scale anywhere in the world. It really does make you wonder as to why this may be. What are they hiding? What is really at stake? Surely the truth is more interesting than the great lie. Who knows? What do you guys think anyway? Comment below. Thank you for watching.